The mutiny at the weekend, this is the message Moscow wants us to see. Sergei Shoigu still in post. The defence minister that Russian mercenaries wanted gone, shown on state TV working out war operations at a command post for Russian troops in Ukraine. Back to normal, nothing to see here, the apparent message. Rewind to Saturday. Before the so-called march on Moscow, Wagner's chief shows up at a military base in southern Rostov, telling officials Shoigu needs to show his face. We came here, we want to get the chief of the general staff and Shoigu. We'll remain here until we have them, we'll blockade the city of Rostov and then we'll go to Moscow. Prigozhin's outrage towards Putin's military chiefs has been building for months. Shoigu has been the focus of countless video insults on social media, recorded by Wagner's boss on the battlefield, accusing him of corruption, propaganda and killing thousands of troops through gross incompetence. But it was here, in Bakhmut, where mercenary groups led the fight and Pregogen's anger turned to rage. Shoigu, the scumbag, he says, and worse. You refuse to give my fighters ammunition, costing their lives, he said, pointing to dead bodies on the ground. He later claimed a Russian airstrike killed his men shortly before the mutiny began. Shoigu is a long-term ally of Putin, but analysts say it was the president's distrust of senior officials and a possible military coup that he funded Wagner as a private force to keep them in check. Despite the keep calm and carry on public message, Shoigu, like everyone else, is awaiting the president's next move.